Hey, Alan. Yeah, what's up? Hey, what day is it? Well, it's Tuesday. Oh. Well, you know what that means, right? Yes, I do. It's, it's Tool, Tool Tip, Tip Tuesday. Tuesday. Hey, folks. Alan Manic, the Hot Rod Hippie here. On Tool Tip Tuesday this week, we're taking a look at a really simple thing you can make yourself. I made the ones that I have, or they are available for purchase as well, and that is the Welder's Third Hand. It's a silly little name, but these are really handy little positioners for helping you out. Positioning things when you're welding on the welding bench, on a vehicle too. We often wish we had three hands with this, a welder can. It's just a really simple little thing that really makes a big difference when it comes to welding for setting up those brackets, for setting up whatever you need. Every little piece of jigging and helpful holding apparatuses you can have when you're welding are gonna make your life easier. Personally, when I'm at the welding bench, I use these things a lot. I have a couple of them I've made out of some old pieces of rod stock and some just plate I'm using as weights. They're really handy for setting up studs, for setting up tabs on brackets. If you've got a piece of tubing you're laying on the workbench and you don't want it to roll away on you, you can set one to either side of it and hold it in place. Another place that I'll commonly use this is the path to ground. Say I'm working on a project on a piece that's uh, mostly painted and I'm not going to be fully stripping it, but I need to weld a crack up at a top section or something like that. I can strip away the minimum amount I need to, use this set on the workbench, and then set against the bare material, and now you have a good path to ground. You don't have to strip a ton of paint off, powder coating off of that piece that you're going to be working with. Like I said, you can make this yourself. It's really simple. All you need is a weight to apply pressure down on the pointed tip, a pointed tip and some type of base to create stability. Like I said, they are available for sale. I know, say, Stronghand Tools has one that is available. It's adjustable in a couple different ways. The Pro model has a ground strap on it. I don't know why it needs that, but it has it. So you can find a link down in the description to both the base model and the Pro model of the Stronghand Tools version if you want to pick one of these up and buy it. But if you want to go ahead and take some time, have a little project in the shop, make yourself one of these. They are really straightforward and simple. I'm not even going to bother making a video about how to do it because it's literally just a bent piece of rod with a weight on it. I think you can figure it out. It doesn't need to be the prettiest thing, just needs to hold things down. I recommend you make up a couple of them if you are going to have some welding projects coming up. Go ahead and drop this video a like if you found it informative. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you use a third hand? Do you have store-bought ones you like? Maybe you've got some interesting takes on this concept I should check out. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this every week. Thanks for coming around, folks. Hey, Alan, you want to say something? Nope. Pretty sure you covered it. All right. That's it, folks.